Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so we're just pulling back into Legion Hills here after our super fun long drive over um, from Ravenport there where we finished up our contracts, staying at our uncle's house. He was happy to get that tree out of his yard, so that worked out pretty good. Um, so now what we're doing is I'm just going to um, drop off our... Um, Drop off our mini excavator at our main site where we're working here. And then I'm going to take our truck all the way back. And we're going to bring out our our um, our cat there to do a little bit more work. So here we go. We'll just whip through here. Man, it's nice to be home again. Everything's starting to look familiar. Recognizing all these roads and these trails. All this good stuff. Uh, so let's just get... Tucked right in here. Perfect. So I'm just going to park this guy and just leave it here for the time being. And then, like I said, we have a, a bulldozer that I'm going to bring out to do the uh, the actual clearing of this land. So actually, maybe what we'll do is we'll park this guy kind of in the woods a little bit just so it's out of our way. Perfect. We'll just leave that right there. That's about where we want it. Now, um, bringing up our awesome chart of goodness. Whoops, that's not it. There we go. Um, so f it's, oops, 50. <laughs> that's a bit expensive. It was uh, $5,000 to rent the dozer for, I think we'll just need it for this episode. Um, we've already taken our daily total off, giving us a total of 203000 still sitting in our bank account. So we're still doing fantastic on the money front. Um, so if I want to get this road graveled, which I'm thinking about doing... Um, it's going to cost uh, $40,000, I think, what the final number was, um, to get it all the way up to the site. Um, but that's just the road itself uh, for 40 And then the actual site will be another 15 So, eh, we'll see if we, uh, we'll see, we'll see we want to do the other part. We'll, we'll spend the 40 get the road all graveled in nice, and then uh, we'll see what, uh, see what the bank account's looking like to see if we want to get the rest done. Because that's no big deal to add that on. But uh, I think I think it'll be nice just to get this road done, just because it's super gnarly and making all our equipment muddy, and we don't want that. And it's gonna be our it's gonna be our home, so we want to make sure we do a nice job of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna park our truck back at the main spot here, and we'll leave her right at home. Perfect. So I'll leave that one there. Um, they dropped off our 880 as well. Uh, that did make it here. Pretty much uh, a little bit before I thought I was going to get here. So let's uh, hook up this guy to the old dozer blade. And then we're going to bring this bad boy all the way out. All the way out. And it should make pretty short work of, uh, short work of that spot where we're trying to plow because that blade is very large. So let's load up this guy. Eventually we'll bring the 880 out, but we're not done with the 880 because we still have some more uh, some more super fun contracts coming up here that I'm uh, pretty excited about. I think it's going to be good. So let's just load this bad boy up. And like I said, we're, we're paying big bucks for this guy, so we gotta we got to get our money's worth out of it. Otherwise, what's the point, right? But we have some, uh, some loading contracts coming up where I'm going to be able to... Uh, do some sorting and some loading and all kinds of fun stuff. So that'll be good. Let's just leave that guy right there. Lock her up. Ramps up and good to go. So yeah, let's bring this guy out, hook it up, and we should be able to plow out that entire section. It should be quite, uh, quite painless. So uh, topic of the day, uh, I did find an interesting one. So somebody asked me, uh, and I'm no expert on this, but from what I've seen. So somebody asked me in a comment, um, do a topic of the day asking how to spot a fake YouTube channel was the exact quote. Um, so although there, I don't think there's a, honestly nowadays there's no real science to figuring out whose channels are fake and whose channels are not fake. Um, a really big tell for me on a channel is seeing a low subscriber count and a very high uh, number of views. So if you see a channel that's got, you know, 500 to 1,000 subs, but every single day they're getting like 100,000 to 300,000 views on their videos, chances are they're probably not legit. Because there are sites that let you go out there and buy um, 
not only fake views, but fake comments, fake uh, likes, fake dislikes, whatever you want. Um, the reason I know this is because um, early, early on, back, I think I've explained this before in other videos, but back when I was really early into modding, I used to have my original FDR logging Facebook page. Um, so another YouTuber that I don't talk to anymore suggested that uh, in order to make my Facebook page look bigger and more popular, um, that I go to this place called, uh, I think it was so Social something, Social Get, or I can't remember the name of it now, but um, he, he recommended that, oh, actually, I'm just going to park this right here because we'll probably have to bring it back, so we'll just leave this guy here. Um, he recommended that I get, I buy some fake Facebook likes in order to make the page look more popular and then I would become more popular. That was the, that was the theory, um, that he had. Now, unfortunately, uh, that did not work. <laughs> so, I bought, I think I bought four, four, th oh, sorry, one sec here, let's get this blade fixed. I'll lower that. Is that plowing? Um, so yeah, sorry, I bought, uh, well, that's a good picture too. I bought, uh, 4,000 fake, uh, Facebook likes or follows or whatever the hell you want to call them now, um, to try to make my page look more popular, thinking, oh yeah, I mean, he does it and it works for him, why not, let's try the easy button and see if that works. Well, it had the absolute back ass words effect on my account, because what it did is it caused... A, f a high fluctuation of followers, like like the fake ones, obviously. But what happened was, because my my analytics were expecting with all of these new followers, the views would go up. They didn't, so it created this kind of like a weird negative void in my analytics. And basically, analytics, if you don't know what those are, they're basically just statistics provided by Facebook or YouTube on your channel and its growth and how it's doing. So, when I bought these, uh, it looked really good for the one section of the month. Oh, yeah, look at all these views, even though I know secretly they were all fake views. Um, but because I didn't get any, uh, or sorry, there were likes, um, but because I didn't get any views, I didn't get any comments, I didn't get any extra stuff that normally comes with a large subscriber jump like that, um, it created this negative void on the channel, and then it became kind of like this empty fake shell where you look at the page, you know, you have, you know, what did I have? I had like 6,000, 6, I ended up with like 10,000 or some stupid thing. So I had like 10,000 uh, likes on Facebook, but yet anytime I post a comment, there's like, you know, one like by the one real person or two real people that were on it. Um, and, you know, maybe the odd person saying a comment or something, but it just, it, it just looks fishy, you know? Like you go in, you're like, okay, this guy's got like a million subscribers looking at it but he's getting like no comments on his videos no video likes no responses no nothing I mean that's a pretty good tell for me even now looking at YouTube channels uh, to notice a fake fake side of things um, the real the real best tell is wait for that person to do a live stream if they dare um, and see how many people actually watch the live stream if you're in a number close to a hundred you probably should start believing that person has that many subscribers. If you're in a number close to one or two when they're doing a live broadcast, eh, probably lying out their butts. <laughs> they probably bought them. So after that big Facebook debacle, um, I actually ended up deleting the Facebook page, which had 10,000 whatevers. Everyone's like, oh, why don't you sell it? There's 10,000 likes on it. And I'm like, because they're all fake, man. Well, they weren't all fake. There was probably about 500 people that were legit. But um, I was like, this is stupid. Like, to try to to try to try fake your way into social media is the dumbest thing ever. If your content sucks, your content's always going to suck. And you're going to be paying for the rest of your life for YouTube subscribers or Facebook likes or comments or... Like, it's just a never-ending perpetual pile of baloney. All you're doing is you're lying to yourself about your content by pretending it's good. If your content's truly good, it's going to grow, it's going to become more popular, it's going to get better. You know, maybe to a maximum point of how good the content is, but eventually, it will get better. 
Um, if you're constantly buying stuff because your content sucks and it's not attracting people, you need to change your content, not buy more people. <laughs> yeah, so even in Farming Simulator, I come across tons of people that are like, dude, this dude just started up this month and he's already got more subscribers than you. He's already got more views than you. And he's doing pretty much the same thing you're doing, but he doesn't create mods. He doesn't do, you know. So to me, and I mean, I've been at this for about three, four-ish years. Um, maybe not 100% dedicated in that whole time frame, but I've been there for a long, long time. So I, I, I do feel I understand the at least the logging side of Farming Simulator better than better than anyone for where the fan base is, where the growth is, and what kind of growth rate you should be looking at. So when I hear these guys that are like, oh yeah, they just made an account last month and they've already got 180,000 subscribers and they get 400,000 hits on a video a day, I'm just like, yeah, don't, I don't know. <laughs> they have to be doing something pretty spectacular. So once in a while when people send me that stuff, and I get it all the time, I don't know why people send me this stuff, I don't care really, to be honest. If somebody's doing better than me and it's legit, proud of them, good for you. But it's not going to change the way I do things. Like, I don't, I have a particular way I like to set my stuff up. So if um, somebody's doing something a different way than I'm doing, I'm not just going to copy them and become exactly like them and do it exactly the way they do it so that I get more views. Because that kind of, you know, deters the quality of your, your content that you're creating. So... I'm not sure why people send me this stuff, but I do get it all the time in emails. People telling me, this person, do you think it's a fake account? Da -da 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 -da. And I'm not on a witch hunt. I don't care. Like, if somebody's out there and they need the gratification to buy their own subscribers, to make themselves feel good so that they can get through their day, party on, man. Like, if that's what you need and that's, you know, you only live once, we're all going to die. Who cares? Do whatever you want, man. Like, that's, that's your gig, but... Um, I actually want to see the decisions that I make as a, crea a content creator, whether it be mods, whether it be videos. I want to see how people are reacting to those. Now, if all the people that I have on my subscriptions or my Facebook are all fake, how am I going to gauge my level of quality in my content? You can't because you're paying for your own upvoting. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it seems crazy to me that people do that, but I understand wanting to look popular. Maybe that's kind of the, the big one. The biggest, the biggest comment I always get from people all the time is, Dude, your content's so amazing. You know, your mods are amazing. Your videos are great. How come you don't have so many, very many subscribers? And I mean, at the time of this video, I'm sitting at 22,000 subscribers, which... To the big dogs in YouTube, if you're under 100K, you're nobody anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, but for me, crap, man. When I hit 5,000, I was doing a little dance around my house because I was so excited. I'm like, wow, that many people hit the subscribe button because they want to see my content. And no, I didn't have to buy them. I didn't have to trick them. I didn't have to do anything. People voluntarily are coming out of the woodwork all over the world, uh, sending me messages, sending me you know, all kinds of cool things about how the content has made life more cool for them. And I don't have to buy that because the content is obviously good to those who want it, right? And like I said, when I get that comment where people are like, dude, how come, how come with your content being the quality it is, how come you don't have, you know, like 100,000 subscribers? And I go, you know, maybe this is just as big as the fan base goes. It's a slow growth. Maybe my content's not that good. Who knows? Maybe maybe I only appeal to such a niche market of people that this is this is as big as it's gonna get. Maybe we won't get too much bigger. I don't know. Like I I don't have the the, the details and the stats on why people decide to do the things they do. But um, I'm more than happy to have anybody on board that's uh, wanting to see this content, and wanting to be part of it. So why do I not have a huge pile of subscribers? Well, I think 22,000 is an incredibly big amount. To myself, maybe looking at the grand scheme of YouTube, it's not a big number. It's pretty low play for some people. But for me, I mean, take 100 people and put them in a room. That's a lot of people. Take 1,000 people, put them in a room. That's a crap ton of people. Now take 10,000 people and put them in a room or put them in a stadium. That's a lot of people. Now we're sitting at 22,000 people 
And those are all people that voluntarily pushed subscribe. I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was just keep doing what I do, and people followed suit. And I'm, I'm really proud of the stuff that I actually make, and I'm, regardless of criticisms or problems or issues or anything that comes about, I'm very proud to stand behind the stuff that I make. I really am. And I think a lot of people also see that as well, or else I wouldn't have a fan base at all. <laughs> yeah. It was only recently I, I hit 100,000 downloads. I stopped tracking them after 100,000 because it's becoming just too hard to track all the multiple different mods that I have now. But at 100,000, I was just like, okay, well, if we're getting that many downloads in like a three to four month pattern, I mean, obviously people are using the mods and it's working, so. So yeah, when I get the, you know, back to my, I'm kind of off ranting here again, but if, if I get to the point where um, people are like, well, why don't you, why don't you have more subscribers? And why is this guy who started last week have so many more subscribers? Well, I'm not here to tell people that they're fake, because I don't even care if they are, but the chances are if somebody started that quickly and they're in the same genre as the rest of everybody and they haven't really grown through the system, they haven't really done things properly, uh, where they worked at it and you know followed through, it's more than likely they're just buying their subscribers, which is, this, this is the tricky part. So. Although it's against the terms of service for YouTube for someone to buy subscribers, there's no way to prove by any means that you were the one who purchased those subscribers. So the, the big trick that a lot of people are doing right now is called weaponizing or attempting to weaponize subscriber base. And what I mean by weaponize is if I am FDR logging and there's, you know, an FDL logging who just starts up tomorrow and he says, oh, I'm going to wipe that guy out. I'm not going to do it by creating better product. I'm just going to destroy that guy and I'm going to ban his channel and I'm going to get him off the air, you know, like that kind of thing. Um, people will go and they will purchase Facebook or, or Facebook. Well, Facebook too, but YouTube subscribers for that YouTuber through these social, you know, get apps and stuff that provide fake subscriptions in the hopes that YouTube's algorithm will catch that as you personally buying subscribers for your own channel and ban you. But what they don't know is, and I've actually, some bigger YouTubes who, YouTubers who are friends of mine have said they've had guys admit that they tried to purchase YouTube subscribers onto their channels to get these people wiped out. Like they've openly said it and, you know, had text messages sent to them or whatever or screenshots showing that people have tried this and it didn't work. So, I mean, that's that's got to tell you, you know, YouTube doesn't have a way to know if your subscribers are fake or your subscribers are real. There's no way. You just can't tell. Or at least not yet. So, for all I know, I mean, as far as I know, based on the feedback I get, the comments I get, I would say at least 10,000 of my subscribers have to be legit. I have no doubt about that in my mind. All 22,000? No idea. I've seen spikes some months that are absolutely unexplainable, and I think to myself, did I just do really good this month on YouTube with my content? Or is someone trying to buy subs or something to get me bumped? So, the way I look at it, and recently uh, in February, not to time date our videos here, but recently in February, I saw the most incredible growth I have ever seen on my channel. Like, we're talking 550% growth. Like, my, my average month, just to go over my stats for you guys, if you're interested. So my average month, I gain about five to 800 new subscribers. That's people watching the videos, clicking the, the subscribe button, you know, coming over from FDRlogging.com, coming over from Facebook, coming over from Instagram, wherever. Now, in February, for whatever reason, um, I gained almost 3,500 3,500 new subscribers, which was crazy. So, at first I'm thinking, uh-oh, someone's buying subscribers because there's, there's nothing that I've done to cause this kind of a jump. 
Uh, and sorry to break off topic, but we have a beautifully plowed area now, so I'm actually just going to load our uh, load our guy back up here. Uh, actually, we'll just park this guy here. So yeah, anyway, so I had this almost 3,500 subscriber jump, which is the most I have ever seen in my YouTube time on YouTube. Never before. So I'm blown away, and I'm thinking... Part of me is going, oh my god, this is amazing, I'm so excited. And then the other part of me is going, because I have a very cynical side, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's going on? Something's broken. So I literally, me being me, I emailed YouTube and I'm like, dudes, okay, what's going on here? Is something broken? Or your stat reporting wrong? Like, what, what's happening here? Because I haven't done anything to cause this kind of a growth. Like, I haven't added a new series, I haven't added new videos, I changed things, I haven't done anything to, like have a reason for this uh, of course youtube never responded to me but i worked it out with some team members in discord we found out um through the analytics that two of my videos for some reason went crazy viral so i have two videos um in february that one was a logging crew one was a logging from scratch and between the two of them they got over a hundred thousand views so i don't know if i just happened to catch the algorithm correctly or I don't know what happened, but they ended up being recommended to a lot of new people, and that created a lot of new subscribers. So, again, me still being a cynical human being that I am, I'm thinking, yeah, well, that's great that those went viral, but what else could cause that? Because it's, it's a huge jump, like, monumental jump for my channel, and I need to know what's going on. So I looked into it a little deeper. So another fun thing that happened when um, that jump was, um, was Epic released the game for free. They released Farming Simulator 2019 for free for a weekend. If you grabbed it, you could have it. So we saw over maybe 100,000 new people joining the game. That's why they've created new international servers. They've created all kinds of stuff for the game to make it even more so than what it was. Uh, so that was another tip off to me going, oh, okay, that makes a little more sense. You know, if suddenly you have an influx of 100,000 new players into the game, there's a pretty good percent chance that maybe, you know, even 20% of those people um, found out the logging side and downloaded our mods. That's a strong possibility. So I was like, okay, that makes more sense. But if in the odd event you're a YouTuber and you're questioning it and you're thinking, eh, I don't know, something doesn't sound right here, um, check. There's, there's a few things you can check. So you want to check your views, your subscribers, and your watch time. Those are the biggest triggers. So if for any reason you see a jump in your channel and subscribers, but you do not see a jump in views, you do not see a jump in watch time, or even you don't see a jump in comments, you know something's wrong because that many people are not going to just join your channel and not watch your content, not respond to your content, or not view your content. It's not going to happen. And I can tell you this 100% because I've been watching those analytics for four years trying to analyze how my channel's growing. So in the odd event you see only growth in subscribers and not the other fields, then you'll know something is very, very wrong. And it's probably somebody either weaponizing the subscribers, trying to get your channel in trouble, or some other odd event that's occurring. So in my case, me still being cynical, I went back and I compared, and I looked at, um, I looked at all those stats in comparison to this crazy 500% growth, and I said, okay, what's my views looking like? So my views were very high. Okay, that's great. What's my subs look? Well, we knew the subs were high. 3,500 is a crazy number, so I'm like, holy God. And my watch time had almost tripled between those two month and a half I had almost 2.3 million new views which is something I usually get in a whole year so I'm like unless someone's out there spending you know two thousand dollars to try to take down my channel and buying everything from views to comments to everything um, I I guess I just caught the wave right <laughs> so I was really happy about that um, now, like I said, moving into the next month after, it's dropping back down to normal. So I don't know what the anomaly was, but whatever it is, it's, it's gone now for now. Um, but I'm seeing steady, steady growth still happening, and I really am happy that it's uh, working out the way it is. So, Yeah, sorry to give you such a long rant, but that's a, that's a good side toured discussion from uh, how to spot a fake YouTube channel. So look for high views, look for low subs. 
Look for high views on videos that have just come out. So one thing I really laugh at is channels that have, you know, 100,000 subscribers. You look back through their video history and you'll see all their channel, all their, like a lot of them will have like 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 views, which is crazy. Like that's crazy uh, to get those kind of numbers. But you'll see one that they just released yesterday or the day before, like in the past week, and they're like 500 views, you know, uh, 100 views, even 1,000, 2,000 views. How do you go, if you're that popular on YouTube, how do you go from 500,000 for three weeks straight to just, oh, 1,000 here, 500 there on the same type of video? It's not consistent and it's not real. It can't be. I mean, I, I can say that the drops do happen. I, I went from a video that had, you know, I was getting four to 5,000 views a day, then down to 1,000 for a week, then back up to two. But I'm talking like that's a reasonable 5% fluctuation. You know, you're going from 1,000 to 5,000, even 10,000 to 1,000. Within that range, I can see that being possible. You know, your video didn't get recommended as much, whatever. But if you're going from 500,000 to, you know, 300,000, 500, down to 1,000, there is some shady stuff happening there. Um, if you find a channel that just happens to have um, one video that has 100,000 or one video that has 500,000 but the rest are pretty low, there's a chance that that one video got viral. I'll believe that. But if you have 50 videos and 40 of them are 500,000 and then the most recent 10 are exactly the same type of video but they're down to 1,000 views, I'm probably going to call fakesies on you, buddy. But again... I'm not judgmental. I really don't care if you're buying your own channel. You're only hurting yourself. <laughs> so that's my uh, that's my long rant on um, on fake YouTube channels because I've seen a lot of that comment history come up in the past. Um, so I can 100% swear on my mother's grave that since that Facebook incident, um, I learned a lesson and I have never, ever even looked at the idea of purchasing YouTube subscribers or purchasing comments or views because it's BS. You're just lying to yourself. You get nothing from it. You don't get money. You don't get fame. You don't, it's, it's, it's just fake. It's like, I don't know, driving a cardboard Lamborghini or something. <laughs> I don't even know what to compare it to, but... Yeah, so if you guys want to sp uh, spot some fake channels, go hunting. Go look at those videos. Use what I told you in this video and see what you come up with. Do you guys have any ideas of what you think is a fake channel? By all means, share with each other. Go hunting. Check it out. But you know what? Instead of being mad at those people, and a lot of people are like, oh, those fake losers, blah, 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 blah. Instead of being mad at them, just realize whatever it is from them buying it is something they needed for themselves to make them happy, to make them whatever it was. Maybe they have a problem in their head where they didn't get enough affirmation growing up and they need some kind of like, you know, something to make them feel popular or famous. Just let them have it, man. Just move on. If you're smart enough to spot it, move on. That's all I can say. But anyway, guys, we're going to cut it on this one. So um, if you guys like the episode, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush... Don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.